Guerrilla filmmaking means working with what you have to the best of your ability. And in the area of lighting, nothing is better than using that great illuminator in the sky, the sun. It shines without charge, it's tax free. So let's talk about how to leverage it for your interior lighting and how to augment it affordably. What the hell's happening in the sun? What is going on? Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, that's perfect timing, isn't it? Welcome to Pull My Focus, adventures in the world of digital filmmaking, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques you need to make great video. We have the sun in the sky pumping out some serious lumens. Around it is blue sky, what we call daylight. It's our big softbox in the sky that fills in our exterior shadows. Outside, the sun is our key, daylight is our fill. But inside, we have a roof and walls blocking it out. What that can mean, as in this shot, is that natural daylight coming in the window through this sure curtain is my key light. That daylight is also bouncing around this room off the walls, and some of it is falling on my shadow side, my fill. And it's also lighting up the room, what we call ambient light. Now, for a tight shot like this, I can bring in a white bounce card, put it right outside of the frame, so that it'll bounce some of that natural daylight into my fill side, more so than the room is doing. Makes a big difference. Now let's move away from the window into the room. Now, we got some drop off, which is to be expected. And in this case, it's about a stop. So let's start augmenting this daylight with our own lights. But which lights? Well, there's many affordable lights to choose from. CFLs, standard fluorescence, LEDs. The important thing is knowing the difference between the designation of daylight and tungsten bulbs. You may be familiar with setting the white balance on a camera to one of the standard settings, which is either daylight or tungsten. All light has what we call a color temperature, measured on the Kelvin temperature scale, and it ranges from orange to blue. But we don't notice it because our eyes automatically adjust. They white balance themselves. Daylight is rated at 5,000 Kelvin or higher, while tungsten is between 2,800 and 3,200 Kelvin. So you wanna make sure that the lights and bulbs you use are rated at 5,000 Kelvin or higher. Otherwise, you might get some crazy orange lighting in your shots. You don't want that. But that's no problem these days because the Kelvin rating is very easy to find. It's generally on the packaging or in the specs. So let's add some lights. Right now I like the soft key I'm getting from the windows. So I'm gonna keep that and I'm just gonna augment it with a little bit of front fill right near the camera. Here I'm using a newer umbrella softbox with a dual light socket. This one is from Limo Studio. Also using two 45 watt CFLs. The front silk diffusion is about 26 by 26 inches and has a nice soft lighting effect. It simulates daylight from the window, bouncing off the walls in the room and filling in my face. Adding fill from the front helps fill in light on my shadow side, as well as adding light to the key side as well. Now I'm going to add an edge light. I'm going to use a single socket bulb on a light stand and I'm going to place it about three quarter back behind me on my key side. I'm going to use an LED par bulb uh, with an electronic dimmer. Uh, this way I can adjust the light level and do it uh, visually via the monitor to see, uh, to get the look and feel that I want. So right now I'm going to bring it all the way up. That's pretty bright. I'm gonna bring it down about 50%. Still kind of bright. I'm gonna bring it down yeah, about 25%. I kind of like that. Now, here, since I'm using it on my key side, I'm augmenting the natural daylight and light bouncing off the back wall here that's already edge lighting me just a little bit. 
There, it's on. And now off. On and off. And I could lower it even more to get a very subtle difference. Now here, I'm using it on my key side, but I could also move it over to the fill. And now it's on my fill side. Very different look and feel. But notice how it does kind of also help separate me a little bit more from the background. And again, it's not the right way or the wrong way to do it. It's just what's the look and feel that you want. Now you can use a soft box if you want as an edge light as well for a much softer, different effect. So there you have it. We basically went from lighting with just window daylight, adding a bounce card, some front fill and an edge light, all using affordable lights and bulbs that you can get at Amazon or any home center. There are many types of affordable lights and soft boxes available. The key is just to make sure that if they come with bulbs, that they're daylight balanced, they're 5,000 Kelvin or higher, and then you'll be good. And then have some fun shooting and augmenting natural daylight in your interior shots. To learn how to make your own electronic dimmer that works with LED PARs, and to get info about the softbox and other lights that we use, check out our other videos uh, and the other videos in our production playlist. Thanks for watching.